Hello, Victory Village, and welcome to the channel. Welcome to another video. If you guys are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because you know you are not going to be disappointed. I am excited and kind of sad at the same time because of the story that I'm going to be telling you guys. This is tragic because I just found out about this yesterday and I'm going to take you um you know through all of the you know things that i found of course you know we're the channel of receipts around here so i'm gonna start with the cnn.com police face questions after a woman's body is found in a police van in huntsville alabama so i had heard about this story on youtube but i had no idea that this was an alabama story so i'm seeing that they have the footage uh on cnn so um there's also the hill.com Alabama family seeking answers after a black woman was found in a police van. And I wanted to make sure that the footage was different because the news story came out before the family spoke out. So I just wanted to make sure that, um, that I had this for you guys. I wanted to play it in order video first. HPD investigators say the city's security camera attached to the department shows Christina entering the parking lot on September 25th. Here's a look at the investigation. So we originally were looking through surveillance video that really we had to look at minute for minute to watch to see somebody enter the parking lot and get into that van. So we literally had to watch two weeks of, of uh, surveillance. Huntsville police investigators say there is video of Nance walking around the lot and sitting on the hood of a police car and approaching other parked unoccupied vehicles for about 10 minutes. One thing to note is the video feed is unmonitored and it's hard to tell but police say Nance entered the unlocked police van through the rear door and that there was still movement in the van through the 28th. Nance was reported missing on October 2nd. The family has had a look at the video Friday morning, but say this still doesn't add up. Like everything was blurry. Like I don't even know if that was my sister. We are still unsure of how our sister Christina Nance died in the van. That was not stated or pointed out in the video. All the video shown was Christina entering the van. And we didn't see that between the three of them. It's not just saying they don't think that's their sister. Investigators say police vehicles like the van they say Christina entered are hard to get out of once someone gets in. It does not have handles on the inside because it was made for tra transporting prisoners or inmates. So you cannot exit. Once you get into the van, you cannot exit from the interior of the van. Investigators also say there was access to get outside the van. Certainly there was access to the outside world through those windows. It, it is the policy to keep vans locked. Keep all city vehicles should remain locked anytime they're not in use or occupied. So, you know, that is just something that we have to look at as an accountability issue on our part. And HPD says they will continue to work with the family and we will continue to follow this investigation. Kenesha Dees, Fox 54 News. We have no idea of how she ended up there out of all places. Why there? Why in their van? It's been more than one week since Huntsville police officers say they found the body of 29-year-old Christina Nance in an unused police van in the public safety complex parking lot. This is video from a camera on top of the police building pointed toward the parking lot. No one's sitting and watching this specific camera that I'm aware of, no. These are just so that if you have an event and you need to go back and look, as you can see there, how difficult she is to see. Even the timeline of Christina Nance's final days remains unclear. Huntsville police say Nance walked into the public safety complex parking lot on September 25th. Miss Nance uh, is observed in the video walking around the parking lot. She lays down in the bushes uh, at some point. She sits on the hood of a police car for, for some time. Uh, she approaches other cars in the parking lot. Police say Nance gets into the back of a van. Three days later, on the 28th, Surveillance video shows movement coming from inside of the vehicle, a former prison transport van, which hadn't been used since March, designed to keep people locked inside and with no way to get out. Four days later, on October 2nd, Nance's family reported her missing. 
but it wouldn't be for five more days, October 7th, until Huntsville police saying officers saw shoes outside of the van, which led to the discovery of the lifeless body of Christina Nance. A mystery deepened by the lack of obvious clues. The body was sent for a preliminary autopsy. We are waiting for the full resort uh, results, which would include the toxicology. But we did get, as you know, the preliminary, which showed obviously no, no trauma to the body, no signs of any foul play. A toxicology report could take weeks. In the meantime, Deputy Chief Dwayne McCarver says while they don't suspect foul play, the department will review its policies. Sometimes you just have to say that was uh, something that shouldn't have happened. It did. Um, our policies are, are such that that should not have happened. And now we have to look at that and we have to make sure that we have things in place uh, so that that does not happen again. She was just very positive. But the family of Christina Nance says the poor quality of their surveillance video and the lack of information as to how she died leaves more questions than answers. It was just very um, heartbreaking to know that we didn't get the clarification that we really needed, that we wanted. This is the first time that I've seen the footage. Um, so I definitely want to thank you guys for watching this with me. Um, definitely put in the comments whether you live in Huntsville, Alabama area or not. Um, what are your thoughts about this story? You know, how are you, you know, feeling about this? Do you think it was negligence on the police department's um, part, you know, by not having the vans and the vehicles locked because they did say it's supposed to be locked if it's not in use. I just thought everything was kind of weird, especially um, a police vehicle not being touched for like a week. There's no maintenance. Nobody, you know, grabbed it to put gas in it to wash it. Um, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's kind of odd because I was saying when the sound was off where I live, there's somebody always out there maintaining the vehicles so there's always somebody on the premises you hardly ever see it just you know quiet like that there's always somebody on the grounds even at night when they have like the council meetings and stuff so it's just odd to me huntsville is only 20 minutes away from me so you know police departments you know are pretty much ran the same that's crazy right I definitely want to get a dialogue started about this because I have so many thoughts, you know, in my head, you know, from the fuzzy footage to, you know, the timeline. If you're talking about the end, um, you know, of the month in September all the way to October the 7th, that this started, why was that footage not even looked at? Like, you're not even looking at this footage on a day-to-day -day basis? Anything could be happening out there. And I mean, you know, just, just for instance, for example, if somebody was looking for Christina Nance, they would have been able to find this girl, hurt this girl. She probably went back in the van, just hypothetically, and could have just passed away. Didn't have anything to do with, I didn't have enough air to breathe or anything like that. I got too hot it, it, she could have been hurt. Somebody could have actually done this. So that's why I'm like, there's so many things going on in my head, but I definitely want you guys um, to give your input um, because this is just crazy. This could be one of us. This could be one of our siblings, one of our children. And you know, you have to think about stuff like this, unfortunately you have to think about stuff like this because at the end of the day you know this is 2021 you know what i'm saying you know it's unfortunate but at the same time you know all of us need to be you know safe it's not just the black men right now all of us have to you know be safe because anything out there could happen so you know i'm just one thing i'm hoping i'm just like i hope that she you know, wasn't sick, like if she had, you know, C-19 or something like that. Like there's so many things going through my head, but nevertheless, I want to hear from you guys. Thank you guys so much. Mask it up out there. Be safe. Remember to always live on purpose, and I will be talking to you in the next video. Bye for now.